wait a minute. Does this mean my brain's been running the same group chat in circles all this time? Yeah, and no one's leaving the chat. This is the long-term trauma loop, and it's been open tabbing in the background for years. In the last two episodes, we saw dynorphins numb the pain and oxytocin confuse the bond and both hijack the hippocampus from way down here. But up here in this region, the thalamus, ACC, insula, and PCC are constantly communicating back with the hippocampus. Let's walk this loop. The hippocampus remembers danger and it sends that information to the thalamus, your sensory hub. Then the thalamus sends it to the ACC, your worry manager. Then the ACC pings the insula who translates that worry into body sensations. Then it alerts the PCC, your compass and narrator. Then the PCC ships that information right back to the hippocampus and the cycle continues. The result, hypervigilance, emotional exhaustion, and zero sense of closure. The real tragedy, this loop has been running without a boss. Normally, the watchtower, the CEO of perspective, steps in to say, hmm, Actually, we're safe now. When the system's in panic mode, the CEO is locked out of the building. All resources get rerouted to survival because logic doesn't matter when the body thinks it's in a war zone. So the watchtower's on unpaid leave while the interns run the place? And apparently the interns are all hopped up on cortisol and coffee. But here's the twist. It's not just the regions doing this. There's even more chemistry behind the chaos. Tomorrow, we'll head into the Bermuda Triangle, where dopamine, GABA, and glutamate collide. Because when glutamate hijacks the thalamus, this loop does more than just repeat. It amplifies.